Hey guys, Psycho Revolution here, and welcome to my Gmon Machinima Guide. You're watching episode 9. In this one, I'm going to talk about music and sound effects, and why they're so important, and where you can find some awesome ones. For this first part, I'm going to talk about why they're important. Now, I took a scene from my Wesker Plays Minecraft video, and I took the music out, and I took the sound effects out. All that's there is voiceover. So I'm going to have you listen to this and see how lame it is. There's no point in hiding. You're merely postponing the inevitable. So that was pretty boring by my standards. So how about I put the sound effects that I had in there originally. I'll put those back in. There still won't be music. But listen to this. Or watch it. I mean, yeah, watch it. There's no point in hiding. You're merely postponing the inevitable. Now that sounded a lot better with sound effects. And I want you to pay close attention. Whenever he's moving his hands, I inserted like a close ruffling noise. Now I think that noise is really important whenever somebody's moving. The actual sound file I used was from Left 4 Dead 1. Under the weapon section, it's called pistol underscore helping hand extend or retract either one but I was using parts of that I slowed some of it down for some of them and I think it made it look a lot better now if you do something like this in your video you want to make sure it's not overbearing and too loud you want it to be subtle it's what will set your video apart from others and whether it's a sound like I just described or footsteps or a bullet sound or a gunshot or blood or bones breaking anything those sound effects are gonna make or break your video and you need to put them in there and having watched the previous episode on extracting sound you should have the entire valve game sound library at your disposal and use it now let's talk about music now almost every video is gonna benefit from music in it even if it's very low and in the background music usually helps now someone like Rubber Fruit, he uses a lot of game soundtrack music. I'm guessing he goes on to YouTube or whatever and finds like the Donkey Kong game theme songs and music and whatnot and puts those in his videos. And there's lots of places you can get music. Now there's two music libraries that come to my mind when I think about Gmon Machinima and you can, I guess, buy them or just find them lying around on the internet and those would be the Ren and Stimpy production music soundtrack and the Warner Brothers sound effect library. Now the Ren and Stimpy music can be found in a lot of the early Idiot Box episodes that Daspo Shit makes. I think some later ones too, but that's predominantly where I heard it. And if you find that, you can use it. It's cool. I used it. I think I actually use it in the Wesker Plays Minecraft. I would only say just don't overuse it. Because it's been used in a lot of Gmon Machinima. And if you're if I've heard the song over and over again in other videos, it's gonna be redundant by the time I hear it in yours. So it's got some great music in there. Even if you just want to listen to it, it's great music. But just be careful you don't overuse it. Now we got the Warner Brothers sound effect library. This has got all the sound effects from all the old cartoons. So a lot of them like sound weird and probably don't fit right, but some of them are good. And if you manage to find this laying around on the internet, I would use that. And of course, another place you can find music is YouTube. There's lots of free websites or software you can download a YouTube video to an MP3 file. And then we have freeplaymusic.com. This is a website I used a lot in my early days. I don't use it a whole lot now, but it's got a lot of music on there. And if you use that in your video, you're not going to get the iTunes link on the bottom of your video because you have matched content. It's never happened to me. It could happen, but don't hold me liable for that. <laughs> but I've never had an iTunes thing pop up just for free play music because it's all like generic but good production music. And then for sound effects, you can go to freesound.org. Now this is my go-to site if I'm missing a sound that I need. I'll go in there and type it in and nine times out of ten, it'll be on there. So that's a great place, it's free, hence it's called Free Sound. And of course, last but not least, we have the sounds that are in the games you already own. Like I showed you how to get Valve sounds, but 
like I said in that video, you can get sounds from other games too. If you look hard enough, not every game, but you can. And if you've got your old games from childhood on CD, it's usually really easy to get the sounds off those. I've got Age of Empires, Monopoly Tycoon, stuff like that on my hard drive just waiting if I ever need something from those games. So just be ingenuitive, find sound, put it in your video, and make it awesome. I'll see you on the next episode. That one I'll be telling you how to mask.